Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. We head straight to our second conversation where we look at the African Cup of Nations game so far uh, with the quarterfinals. Well, as the boys have been separated from the men game, of course, you also witness the fact that Nigeria is out. The ongoing African Cup of Nations, the game of the Cup of Nations quarterfinals fixtures will begin on Saturday, January the 29th with Gambia and Cameroon. And you also have Burkina Faso and Tunisia. And on Sunday, you would also witness the game Egypt and Morocco and Senegal and Equatorial Guinea would also come up. But what should we expect with the upcoming quarterfinals tournament? And to make sense of all of this, we do have a guest joining the conversation this morning. He is a sports journalist and uh, Mighty George. It's good to have you join us this morning via phone. Thank you very much, Matthew. Great to hear. Lovely to meet you. All right. So, but I, I'd like to start the conversation generally. Let's get your thoughts on the the, the game so far that's been played, I mean, the beginning of uh, the Cup of Nations and the officiating. Some people have made serious arguments uh, against the officiating, saying that it, it has never really felt very good for us. But we'd like to share your thoughts on the overall performance of uh, the entire game. Yeah, well, um, the tournament started uh, predictably alongside Cameroon. Finally getting to host tournament was supposed to be 2019 and then 2021 year and now it's holding in 2022 so uh, I'm sure that Cameroon had enough time to prepare they started like a house on fire and uh, eventually got the first three points there's no surprise they also still through um, yes many have talked about the officiating as well one of up such blunders was shown in a game between Tunisia and Mali where the reference to the game twice, uh, one in the um, 85th minute and later on in the 90, 89th minute. Uh, suffice to say that the referee, I'm not sure, has listed to the game anymore. And so far we've seen, you know, close to 10 red cards, most of them coming in the uh, last 15 states. So one of them going to Nigeria, of course, which is still being the place of only that. Uh, was a red card on uh, Alex Ruby you know, or not? I looked at it. Some of the red cards, really, are actually genuine red cards, but uh, it's the fault of the referee, 50 50. Um, the question has been why is that a VAR is not truly explored, you know, like what you see in other clients? I think that African referees are getting used to VAR, we need to look at that more often, and we hope to see that in the remaining games of the tournament. It's been exciting, no doubt. Uh, we've seen the underdog uh, stun us, so to say. Gambia, who had thought that they would go to the quarterfinal with their first uh, you know, attempt at the competition, they've been great. And uh, of course, they're getting to play Cameroon. And uh, now that game is 50 50, considering how uh, Cameroon plays Comoros. Comoros were a man down, they had a major goalkeeper because they had all three of their goalkeepers down with Kobe. Which is another issue. Um, they had to play Cameroon and surprisingly and magically had no defense for COVID. That also includes how players, uh, you know, catching COVID and being exempted from games that affected some of the team, uh, no doubt. So, um, eventually we found ourselves in the quarterfinal. You know, I'm still shocked that Nigeria's out. Uh, it should be Nigeria. In a quarterfinals, playing for in a fact of that way. But Tunisia progressed, even, uh, you know, to this stage and, uh, playing a very lovely game as well. It shows that, um, I, I think that they do have something to offer and they are not, not a push of that team. I do a lot of the more technically sound side. Um, we were careless and just to go into the round of 16, who are just the best football team. Uh, coach was giving me a lot of Best coach of the group stages. I think that got into our heads. We also had dignitaries from Nigeria flying to Cameroon to distract them with money, two hundred and fifty dollars, fifty eight dollars a goal, and all that. I think all that coming in the month. I mean, it, it's gone. I'm not sure I know more of this uh, tournament. So over now to the full final week one. We're starting off tomorrow. Gambia taking on Cameroon. I did mention that game. It's going to be a tricky one. Cameroon are not playing in the uh, home, so to say, a game. Uh, the Olympic Stadium has 
that quarter. Unfortunately, because of that campaign in the next half, where we saw eight people die, our camp and the local organizations decided to move that game uh, to Coast Wala. So Cameroon will be playing away from home, uh, you know, in Coast for the first time. The Ambia coming with a lot of confidence after beating any one year to progress uh, around. Um, the favorite tap to come on for Gambia, really states this. No matter what, say, you know what, let's just have fun. That India on a mission to be a top one. It's okay. So I think I think we we seem to not have you know a clear sound from your uh, side. I'm hoping that we're able you know to um, sort that audio issue out. Then we're able to connect with you, mighty George. Oh, you have a problem with the sound? Okay, so it sounds it sounds better now. I think it sounds better. So go ahead with your thoughts. Okay, thanks. So I would say Gambia Cameroon for me. And from what I've seen so far, it's a 50 50 game, even though the Cameroonians have been so up over car. We you know, have scored uh, six goals. Uh, it's going to be the talisman for them. For Gambia, their collective play will just work out for them. They also know how to score goals. Uh, well, it's a Cameroon win for me, but it's not going to come easy. Uh, you know, Gambia is going to put them to the limit. Um, I'm not also really that on upset. So I don't have a definite position for that one. It's going to be a very, very tough game. Tunisia, Burkina Faso, I'm picking Tunisia because they look very powerful. I know how they qualify from the, uh, you know, good state and send back losers and going on to eliminate Nigeria, who were more like Congo favorites. I think that was back. I think they held on strong even after that goal they scored because they would have still tried, but they didn't. Uh, I'm picking them, you know, to go past Burkina Faso. Egypt and Morocco, unfortunately, one of the powerhouses in Africa. Uh, when it comes to pedigree, of course, Egypt are the biggest side, having won seven times. Uh, so I'm thinking Egypt. There's Mohammed uh, Salah factor. But the fact that, you know, Cote d'Ivoire dragged Egypt up to the penalty stage, and Morocco, you know, overcame Malawi in 90 minutes, uh, it shows that, well, Egypt will be more experienced to be dragged to the penalty stage, and Morocco. Uh, I'm not sure they'll be prepared for penalty, but if their coach is, uh, you know, is within the tournament so far, he should know that penalty shootout might suffice in this game. Because in the last 16 alone, we saw about four penalty shootouts. So um, that's it. I'm thinking you can go past Morocco. It's going to be a tough one to go into penalties as well. Then Senegal versus Equatorial Guinea. Good thing we hear the Stadio manager is back to Senegal against the Polo game. So uh, it's looking like another exciting game and uh, Senegal to win that one. But one thing we must know, going into the last 16, we had eight West African teams. And now in the quarterfinals, we have only three West African teams. So it looks like, um, you know, the... Uh, our house, if you say the West Africa, is not looking like that because they are not actually going all the way. But either of Kina Faso or Senegal could still make it through. But the strongest West African team is Senegal. So um, let's see how it goes in this, in this quarter final. Even though Nigeria is not there, it's looking quite interesting. And I think that the left wing errors are being checked as we go along the way. And uh, my heart goes out to those uh, families that lost their loved ones in the tournament so far. So far, not been a bad tournament. Hmm. Uh, Interesting. You, you virtually covered every, every blade of grass, no pun intended, uh, that we intended to take you uh, through this morning. And of course, no surprises as you are a uh, communications expert. So your picks for, uh, for the semi-finals, Mighty George, uh, Cameroon to beat Gambia, you said. Uh, Tunisia to uh, fly past um, as a, uh, the, the Burkina Faso Burkina team. Faso. Um, uh, maybe their minds might be occupied with the coup in that country. Uh, we just don't know. Um, Egypt, Morocco, who did you say you're picking? I said Egypt. Egypt, fine, fine. And Egypt. Um, of course, it's a tough one. Yeah, and you said Senegal to fly past Equatorial Guinea. Uh, some would say Equatorial yeah. Guinea haven't played that badly. Um, you know, especially when they played against Algeria, uh, the defending African champions. Yeah, Algeria, as you can see, was very smart in this tournament. They were beaten by Cote d'Ivoire, 
you know, humbled by Equatorial Guinea. So, um, you, you know that Algeria wearing themselves, just as Ghana, you know, was as well. It, they, they came in here not prepared. And um, it's really no surprise because back in 1990, they were champions and they came back in 92. They were eliminated in the first round. So maybe they have that that thing, uh, you know, that champion thing when it comes to another tournament. So Algeria were not really a test, you know, because uh, they were beaten by everyone. Interesting. Mighty George, I want to thank you very much for your time. It's um, some fantastic analysis that you've uh, brought our way and we cannot wait for the weekend to be upon us so that um, uh, we, can, we can be uh, serenaded with the best of African football um, and of course um, see who emerges in the semi-finals of the African Cup of Nations. Maybe then we'll have you on to tell us who you think will win the tournament. For now, let's uh, take your predictions and wait for the outcome of the four quarterfinal games. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mighty George. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right. Um, very, very interesting analysis. And you can't, you can't fault his analysis um, as a sports fan and as an Arsenal fan. Um, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm rooting for Nini. I don't know if Liverpool has any. You're a Liverpool fan, right? Yes, I'm a Liverpool okay, fan. Okay, I don't think you guys have anybody in this tournament. No. Oh, you have Salah. Okay, yeah, oh, well, you have Salah, yeah. Salah did... Yeah. And Sa money. Well, I think yeah. money money had money has some kind of injuries, oh, if I'm not mistaken, okay. or something. Okay. I'm not okay. too sure. I, 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 uh, but yeah, yeah. but one would actually, you know, I would always remember the words of Wallace Scott saying, maybe Nigeria actually decided to play, you know, Egypt because of Salah, and we could see the whole energy, the zest yeah. that was put out. It was really strong, <laughs> and now Salah is still in the game. It's, it's, the game, yeah? <laughs> it's, it's really, it's, really it's, it's football for you. Um, I, 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 I suspect, I mean, it, which won't be the African Cup of Nations if there's no upset. You know, if there's no upset. Um, I've been looking at this and looking at where the upset can come from. Um, I've not been too convinced with the play of the Senegalese, you know. I've not been too convinced with their play. So let's see how it, how it pans out. But I love an upset. I like to see a small team win. And I also think that the Cameroonians have actually not failed and disappointed as well. We always know that, you know, with the AFCON, the one strong team you should look out for. They haven't really disappointed. Uh, unfortunately, we saw Ghana, you know, uh, leaving the scene just as Nigeria. But fingers are actually you know. crossed. <laughs> and you, you know, before you start hitting your neighbor, you should think about But it's all good. It's all good. Think about it. No, I think too. it doesn't. I it's think all it fine. It's fine. Um, 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 so, so let's see. I, 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 I think Ecuador Guinea may be able to to upset um, Senegal, maybe maybe through penalties, because the uh, Senegal's Senegalese have not been scoring. We, we scoring, have seen several games goals. where yeah. you know even in the World Cup we see strong teams that you should look out for uh, getting kicked out of the game, and you never can tell what happens because every team is always going there to win until uh, may the best team win. However, may the best the team win. Well, that's the much we can take at this point in time. It has been a great conversation. I mean, seven o'clock up until this time, uh, we do appreciate all that uh, that you have been able to stay with us uh, from that time till this moment. We will definitely return on Monday with the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Messi Bopo. Now, if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa and do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Have a great day. And I'm Kofi Batels. Keep watching. Good morning.